back here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, ready for perhaps our biggest match of the day. We have Texas State, San Marcos taking on Lone Star QC. The first time we've seen Lone Star QC, the number one overall seed, the number one team in the country, just one loss. Both of these teams coming in with a 3-0 record so far in World Cup 8. Once again, I am Brad Wozniki, and alongside me for this match is C.J. Montague. C.J., good to have you back. Nice to be back. And here, I've heard tons of word of mouth about Texas and how they, the state of Texas practically dominated last year's World Cup. So I'm excited to see, especially after seeing Texas State before, how this game is going to turn out. It seems like it's going to be a good one. Looking at the previous scores for Texas State against their opponents, a 160-40 to 40 win over Falcon Warriors, then a 140-80 to 80 win over Penn State, and a 90-80 to 80 win over Lost Boys, and we are underway. Brooms up under the lights now. We are under the lights now for the first time. Oh, and it looks like a beat right as soon as she was about to score. Texas State regains possession. We are under the lights now for the first time tonight. We've had beautiful sunny conditions all day. A little bit of a breeze earlier on in the day. A nice 80 degree weather for this one. And it's only fitting that we have our biggest crowd of the night for our biggest match. Uh, you are right. There's people all everywhere. Looking at Lone Star's previous matches in this World Cup. A 130 to 40 win over Wizards of Westwood to open up the World Cup. Then back-to-back 220-point -back performances, a 220-20 win over Loyola University of New Orleans, and then a 220-10 win over Tennessee Tech. Again, the only loss of the year for Lone Star Quidditch Club came to Texas on a snitch catch. 140-110 was the final. This is a Looks like Texas State is taking it very slow, sticking around that halfway line. Mentioned the number one overall seed for Lone Star. Texas State is the number seven overall seed. They were eliminated in the final last year. These are two teams that are both going to be very capable of winning the World Cup here in Rock Hill. The beaters are getting aggressive really early, especially at Lone Star end. Quaffle but control for Texas State. An early whistle coming from the head referee, Alex Shear. He has presented a yellow card to number seven for Lone Star. Do not have that name listed on our roster, at least with a number. And we will resume play. Texas State in control of the Quaffle. They bludger control in favor of Lone, Lone Star. Star. And those beaters are sure enough ready, especially number, I believe that's number nine. And you can tell here early just how much possession time is going to be key in this match. Texas State once again sticking to that halfway point. Really trying to look for an opening, but finding nothing. I have a couple of bludgers loose right now. This is Texas State on the attack, and... And they pull back. That is number 85. I believe that is Richard McAvoy Kemp for Texas State. You can tell Texas State is not being nearly as aggressive as they were in their previous game. This is not the first time today that we've seen a scoreless match early on. It's just really a testament to how good these teams are. And number nine is really putting the intimidation on all of Texas State's. At Lone Star's Molly Lensing wearing number nine. Just prepared to beat every single player. She's so quick. She can switch on a dime. It's Texas State trying to maintain possession of the Quaffle, and they do for now. But it doesn't seem like they're going to get past that half court. Not with those beaters. Just completely dominating. 
looking at the final scores from the 620 matches, we had Tufts University defeating Silicon Valley 190 on a snitch catch. And the Blues from the crowd, they want some offense. And also, Texas State really slowing down the pace of this game. We had University of Texas doubling up Crimson Elite with a 140-70 win on pitch number two. Arizona Quidditch over University of Arkansas, 100-70. Emerson College with a 100-90 win over Florida's Finest. It's another tough loss for Florida's Finest in this World Cup. Bowling Green State University, a 200-90 win over University of Texas at San Antonio. A 160-50 win for Illinois State over the University of South Florida. Blue Mountain Quidditch Club just edged out UCLA, 130-120. Lone, Lone, Star. Lone Star with their first scoring opportunity in front. Oh! Oh! Dunk it home. Oh! In mid-air, could not get the ball to go. So limited opportunities, and Lone Star couldn't cash in on their first one. It looks like, uh, looks like with some help from a beater, Texas State regains possession. Lawful control for Texas State. Once again, Texas State taking a very slow. What do you think? Is there a chance we could have this one scoreless by the time the snitch enters the pitch? Is there a I chance? I don't know. With, with the way that Texas State... Oh! And that erases that as Texas State gets on the board Texas first. Texas State takes first blood, being very patient. Now they're going to say no goal. The referees confirmed, so the odds still scores. Wow. And I was about to say I can eat my words right there. But as usual, Lone Star's defense is nigh impregnable. Their beaters, amazing strategy. And there's the first there score. Lone Star gets on the board first to make it 10 nothing. Scoring that one was the keeper. Very good advance and very nice reset to defense. That was everybody Stephen Bell. Way up, everybody way back before the quaffles even back to the keeper. Very nice. So the keeper, Stephen Bell, makes it 10 nothing. In favor of Lone Star, still very early on in this one. Lone Star forcing Texas State to take it up slow. Lone Star showing why so far they are the number one team with their defense. So far they've cashed in on one of just two opportunities at the offensive end. Now the Bludger play. The Bludgers are flying like pinballs right now. Bouncing off as the beaters fight. Lone Star, Lone Star continuing to keep pressure up front. Piece. Taking nothing for granted. We once again have the tag team duo of Luke Changit and Alex Shear refereeing this one. Two members of the Blue Mountain Quidditch Club and roommates. Bludger pressure from Lone Star. Quaffle being thrown around and it's loose for the moment. But recovered by Texas State as they are trying to find an opening in this front line. <coughs> 10 nothing. our score. One and only goal coming from Stephen Bell, one of the captains for Lone Star. The other captain for this Lone Star team is Cody Marshall, wearing number one. Oh, and Drop a very ill-advised pass to 
the Texas State keeper as he is now beat and Lone Star regains possession. Now if you're Lone Star, you're going to try and push forward and double up your lead. I don't see why not. Once again, it was the keeper, Stephen Bell, for Lone Star. This time, could not connect, but Lone Star still has it in a lot of contact behind the goal. And still fighting. It looks like Lone Star may have just recovered it. And you have to love Lone Star's aggressiveness on the pitch. They are completely dominating the Texas State team. They are aggressive in their... They're aggressive in their beat game, in their chasing game. They completely control this game right now. If you're just joining us, this is the number one overall seed, Lone Star Quidditch Club taking on the number seven seed, Texas State. Both teams 3-0. Both teams looking to finish their day strong and try and go into bracket play tomorrow undefeated one of these two, two teams though will suffer their first loss we will resume play here momentarily waffle thrown back and Lone Star grabs it they take it up this is Bell, and he right. threw the quaffle behind him. A couple more scores to mention. Ohio State Quidditch, a 130-100 to win over Sam Houston State. Villanova Community Quidditch coming up well short against Texas Tech. 180-110 to was the final. And Minnesota Quidditch, a 120-40 to win over the Canadian team, the University of British Columbia. And a brutal hit on a Texas player as she goes for the quaffle. Texas State Chaser turtled on it. Manages to get it out to the keeper. But one thing is for certain, if Texas State is going to have any chance against this Lone Star defense, they have got to get more aggressive. Texas State in possession of the quaffle, trying to approach midfield, but the pressure right there. They managed to get a pass off, but not looking good for them right now. It's Eric Reyes with it for Texas State. He'll toss it over to a teammate. Just no, no openings, no holes in this defense at all. Now Texas State being forced back towards their own goal. Oh, and Texas State taking off. The bludgers are loose. A chance for Texas State. Oh, and they have tied this one up at 10. Dagger Kugler. And with a player way back at the goals, no real reason why, but perfect position for an easy goal, an easy swift return by Lone Star. A quick response makes it 20 to 10. Head referee Alex Shear has called for time. Looks as though there was a play away from the quaffle. And it is going to be a yellow card, so the man advantage for Texas State, a chance to tie this one right back up. Let's see if they can capitalize. Couple of other matches going on. You have Michigan Quidditch taking on the Ball State Cardinals, Kansas Quidditch taking on Falcon Warriors, QC Boston the Massacre taking on Boston University, and all Boston, Boston battle on field four. Then you have the University of Richmond Spiders taking on the NAU Norwals with Northern Arizona. And, and Texas State with a quick drive. Oh, but he's taken down in a very nice tackle. <laughs> Good defensive play by Lone Star. Again, showing that aggressiveness that has helped Lone Star dominate this game. Little to no opposition. 
Two bludgers in the area as the quaffle is cleared away. Under the lights here on Carlisle Field at the Manchester Meadows Complex in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And Texas with a nice with a nice opposition manages to regain the quaffle. Yeah, Texas State gets the stop. That one loss that Lone Star did suffer to Texas. Texas had the 60% bludger control, scored in a variety of ways. And Texas State tying this one up at 20. Charges right at the defense. He gets very aggressive, and that is what's helping them score right now. And Luke Changi, one of our referees, is going to send players back to their last positions. Last time, as soon as Texas State scored, it was Lone Star taking it right back the other it. way to go right back in front. I love this, dude. This is the best. But I don't care. It's <coughs> awesome. What? Very tight game. I definitely expected there to be more scoring, but it appears that these defenses are really trying to take hold. But again, that's, that's really just a testament to how well these two teams, not only on offense, but on defense, how well they play, and that's what makes them the top teams. Which is true. Defense is what wins games. Offense is just how you play. Well, I have the control of whether or not that has to happen. The referee's still getting things sorted out at midfield. The next scheduled match here on pitch one is the University of North Carolina taking on Michigan State. Scheduled start time of 8 o'clock. That's certainly not going to happen as we are three minutes from the top of the hour. Lone Star on the attack. Pass thrown behind the goals, but it's denied. Stoppage of play. Still tied at twenty. Texas again taking it up very slow, knowing their opponents have bludger control. Oh, I am mistaken on that. Texas, do, Texas State does have bludger control, but once again, that Lone Star defense is just too intimidating to break through. And it seems like they might have a hole now. Tied at 20. Waffle still in control for Texas State. Now oh, the bludgers are nice loose. A little fight for the bludgers from the beaters allowed Texas State to maybe get up. McAvoy Kemp back over to Reyes. Dangerous pass and the collision at midfield. And a card coming from Alex Shear. It is a yellow card. It's going to be a man advantage for Texas State. That is going to be the second yellow card awarded. I believe that was Sean Fry headed over to the bench. Quite a few penalties given out in the last couple of minutes, don't you think? Certainly has been. It speaks to the physicality of this game. and The players have had a few extra words for the referees, certainly on the pitch in this one. Not just this one. Everybody is really just a little tense. And can you blame them? 
I mean, so much rides on these games. Might very well see these two teams match up in bracket play tomorrow. This is Reyes with it. Bludger control for Texas State. If they can just clear some room up front for a shot opportunity, they could take the lead for the first time today. The first time in this match, I should say. Texas State still playing it safe. <laughs> Just passing it around the defense. Across the field pass. Awful. A little bit loose, but. Three players were there for Texas State, just one for Lone Star, making it an easy scoop. Now Reyes oh, tried to put it in with two hands. The Stephen keeper. Bell shuts him down. Stephen Bell takes away that one play they could have had. He should have had more options down there. And the ball goes out the hard boundary be retrieved by Texas State. Ray is clapping his hands. Proud of his team so far. Crowd looking for that next score. We are approaching snitch time. Texas State going to continue and slow this one down here on Carlisle Field. If, if I didn't know any better, it looked like they were trying to wait. It looks like they were trying to shed the clock down so that the snitch can come out and their seeker can grab the snitch and win them the game. All they're trying to do is keep it close. Saw a little bit of pressure there from Sarah Holub. Pass upfield to Reyes. But he's moving back. Oh, no. oh. Reyes is oh. going to drop the quaffle back, pass midfield back into Texas State territory. Texas Field staying in their area, letting themselves regroup. And it looks like the Lone Star does have Bludger control, which is very dangerous considering how their beaters have been playing this entire game. Battle in midfield for the Quaffle. Texas State maintains possession with a little bit of a round of applause from the crowd down on the field. I believe that is Emerson down on the field. But as you can tell from the boos that were heard earlier, it is a very split crowd. A lot of people pulling for Texas State to pull off the upset. A lot of teams would like to see Lone Star continue their dominance. I guess it's, it might but depend it on which team is giving you the bigger Texas beating. Texas State just scored another goal. <laughs> Texas State has their first lead of the match. 30 to 20 our score. Gotta love the way they found that hole. They're patient and they're waiting for the right goal and you cannot argue with that strategy. And the snitch is loose, so both seekers are gonna come out and be very aggressive. It's Lone Star with the first opportunity. Wow. I have not, I have barely seen a seeker more aggressive than Lone Star seeker tonight. He is all over that snitch. And now Texas State Going to add to their lead, nearly a snitch catch. 40 to 20, our score in favor of Texas State. Michigan State heading down towards the field as they get ready for their next match against the University of North Carolina right here on pitch number one. Is Texas no. State going to work on the snitch. 
it looks like their defense is tightening up finally. And they may just be, they may just be running away with this as Lone Star scrambles to set their defense. And there's the stick catch. Texas State looks as though they have handed Lone Star just their second loss of the season, and they have. Texas State, with their patience, pulls out a 70 to 20 win over Lone Star. That will, be, that will be the second loss of the year for Lone Star. They are now 34 and two. Texas State picks up their 28th win of the season. They're now 28 and five. That sets up for what we're really looking forward to tomorrow, bracket play. And I can't wait to see it. These, both of these teams are going to advance, there is no doubt. But seeing them go up against each other tomorrow, if that happens, will be a spectacular, especially 